Aw, yes! You know what time it is. It's time for Kitty Tailgate, your go-to place to find out everything there is to know about Puppy Bowl 15. So gather around your pets and try to convince them to look at my pretty face because this show is as much for them as it is for you. I'm your host, Morgan Evans, and I'm a huge fan of Puppy Bowl. I've been watching since the very beginning, and I'm so stoked to be a part of this. This is my co-host, Ralph, and he's a cat. You go, boy. You go live your life. Working with animals for TV ain't easy. Take Ralph, for instance. This guy's in makeup for five hours every morning. Our kitty tailgate correspondent, Amanda McCall, met up with the woman responsible for keeping all the pupper athletes on camera. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hey, I'm Amanda, and we're backstage at the Puppy Bowl rehearsals with the trainer of all the puppies. Can you tell us your name? I am Victoria Shade, and this is my 12th Puppy Bowl. So can you tell me a little bit about what you do? What's the sort of most basic thing that you teach these? Like, what do they have to master in order to get to the Puppy Bowl? Well, they don't have to master anything, thankfully. Okay. So these are all rookies. My job is to coax performances out of untrained dogs. Most of them come here really not knowing how to do anything. After the game, what, right. is, the, what is the vibe? Are they in a high state, or how do they feel? There are some egos that happen. That like, it's usually, ask. yeah, there's right. usually one or two dogs that score the most, and we start to see a little bit of, like, ascendant behavior, yeah. but they earned it. MVPs. MVPs, yeah, or v VIPs, very important puppies. Thank you so much for talking to us, and thank you for doing this. They've done amazing work thank for 12 you. years. Thank you. It's a lot of puppies. It's a blast. It's a lot of pee. I'm lucky. All right, thanks so much. Everybody ready? Rolling. Chihuahua on green screen! Cut. And now it's time for a really fun part of the show, where we get to watch something that doesn't take place in this little area. Thanks, Morgan. It's me, Tim Mahoney, the least famous person to ever be on camera, and I'm here to figure out which is better, cats or dogs. Let's settle it. Excuse me, do you like cats or dogs more? She likes dogs more. Put it on the board. It's dogs or cats? Cats. I'm gonna say dogs. Sometimes I don't want to work to earn something's love. You know what I mean? It's like me and my dad. Yeah, right? It's yeah. like... <laughs> I'm like, just love me for me, right? Exactly, yeah. Suck it, dad. Suck it, dad. <laughs> Can I ask if you like cats or dogs more? Dogs. Cats. I mean, I was team cat, but now I'm team dog. You have beautiful eyes, so anything you say, I'm just agreeing with you. Oh, whatever. Your eyes are great, too. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, do you like cats or dogs more? I like dogs. Dogs. I feel this is unfair, because we're at a dog park. What about a cat so good it's basically a dog? There's no cat good enough to be a dog. OK, dogs or cats? Dogs. Cats. Dogs. 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 So which one liked cats? How are you guys friends? We're really accepting as a group. <laughs> so where are we going? <laughs> back to class, actually. Oh, back to class? Cool. God, don't you guys hate Professor <laughs> Slubs? <laughs> OK, quick, dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs. Cats or dogs? Cats. Dogs. Boom. That's uh, some Looney Tunes stuff. What do you like about dogs? Um, therapy. Therapy? Yeah. Therapy dogs? Yeah. Do you actually use a therapy dog? I do. Actually, I don't. Her name's Denali. Denali. Yeah. Shout out to Denali. Well, that was a close one, but sorry, cats. Dogs won. That was a rough one. Get it? Rough like dogs? <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of here. <laughs> So I'm gonna give you guys an award today. It's going to be for best hair. It's amazing, it's fashion forward, and I love it. Well, while I have my glass of milk of magnesia, it's time for you to enjoy a moment from Puppy Bowl history. I'm being old as a joke. Roll the clip, Danvers. <laughs> The creme de la creme of canines here at the world's first puppy bowl, 
Trading in their dust bowls for puppy ones, these fans are unmarred by the Great Depression. They've turned out in droves to forget the horrors back home and enjoy the adorable puppers. I can't emphasize enough how horrible things are back home. Can Team Rump overtake Team Fluff? Only time will tell in Puppy Bowl 1. Bear, we're gonna have a staring contest on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. I won. I beat you. You come to me on the day of our daughter's wedding asking me for a favor, Mama. How can I refuse? I think, whoa, bird. I'm sorry, I got distracted. I saw a bird. There was a bird outside. Get out of here, Mama. I'm gonna watch the puppy ball. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda McCall, and I'm here with Clara from Team Fluff. Are you excited about, about the game? What are your thoughts? You seem incredibly excited. Pixie, I know you're a competitive player. Everyone knows that. You're famous for being, you know, incredibly competitive. How do you get into your opponent's head? Like, do they call you firework because of your explosive plays, or is it like a Katy Perry reference? I know that it's not this dog's fault, but it's appallingly cute. Ziggy, is there anything you want to tell us? Anything scandalous that happens behind the scenes? Kudos on your silence. What happens at Puppy Bowl backstage stays in Puppy Bowl. I respect that. Do you have any pre-game rituals? Anything you do to sort of psych yourself up? Like, do you listen to music? It's like putting your hand into a cloud that ate a marshmallow. It's just like, bleh, soft. A lot of people carbo load before a big game, Pixie. Is that your thing? Pasta, pizza, you know, just dog food? I, I love being here, but like, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve you. It seems like you're easily distracted. I'm hoping that doesn't happen on the field, firework. I know you do a lot of running, but any specific tips that you have in terms of training, anything that really gets these biceps busting? I think it's asleep again, which honestly makes me wonder whether it's me, maybe not the dogs. I tend to have this effect on people too. Hey, good for you. Well, that's it for us over here at the Kitty Tailgate, but don't forget the Puppy Bowl is only a few short days away. Say bye, Ralph. <laughs> Ralph, mm -hmm. say goodbye, Ralph. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to teach him to talk. Stream Puppy Bowl 15, live Sunday, February 3rd at 3 p.m. on Animal Planet Go.